Reels is basically TikTok on Instagram. No, it's, it's nothing else. Hello everybody, my name is Daniel. Welcome to a new video. And after I did the video on how to become a pet influencer on Instagram, I want to do a follow up video and actually have planned a series of videos that can grow your pet on Instagram and other platforms as well. And if you're new here and want to create and grow online on YouTube and other social media, subscribe and click the bell so you're not missing any upcoming videos. So today I want to talk about the things we don't want to do when we are building our Instagram for our pet. And actually those are best practices for any Instagram account. The first point is inconsistency. So I actually did that mistake, but not in the beginning, but later when I only posted every other day. The best thing is if you post every day. <laughs> yeah, it sounds tough, but uh, it's the best thing to post any type of content for your pet every day. I mean, I still got good likes for my posts, even posting not regularly, but the follower basically didn't grow anymore. So it was it was stuck at a certain amount of followers. So it's heavily important that you post regularly, even better daily. And you can also create posts in advance so you don't have to post every day. You don't have to be present on your phone and post every day. You actually, there are tools out there where you can post your content in advance. So like, for example, later, I will leave a link to later in the description below so you can check it out. But you can post and you can schedule your posts. You can post... Uh, you know, like for one week so you know there's a special days where we post like tongue out tuesday or throwback thursday or way back wednesday flashback friday so you can even plan some certain posts in advance as well you also may be consistent with posting type of good mixture between stories and posts so i recommend you posting stories and a post one at least one post a day but you can also post some um, two three stories as well what i do nowadays is i usually post uh, the outtakes so like uh, not every photo we take of our pet is the best one so but i put some outtakes or some photos which are not the high best quality for, for what i think in the stories as well so those photos are not lost so the second thing you should not do when you are growing or when you want to grow your, your pet account is you an irrelevant hashtags so you should use always hashtags related to your niche and to your dog as well so if you have a german shepherd you can use the hashtag uh, german shepherd gsd i think is, uh, is one of them so and, and of course you don't want to use uh, husky something if you don't have a husky né? then uh, if you have a husky you can use a hashtag like huskies of instagram or something like that there are some certain hashtags out there and you can check them out what i would do in your case is i would use a mixture of popular and let's say regular uh, uh, hashtags and also don't use hashtags which ain't relevant to your niche or to your post at all even though they seem to be popular right now and what i also recommend is that you vary your hashtags for your post like if you have a special post a, a themed post let's say then you can add like a, a couple of hashtags which are related to the post and not just put generic hashtags in every post the third one thing you shouldn't do is post too much so uh, as i said before inconsistency is not good but also it's not good to post too much i think so sometimes less is more and it's important to be consistent but not spammy so it's important that you don't appear spammy so it doesn't make sense if you post like five times a day and i think uh, instagram in in some case at some point it sees this as spam even when you start now especially when you start with few followers with zero followers even i wouldn't recommend to post more than one to two times a day but for me i find out the sweet spot is to post one time a day i will talk about other things you should can post after then in a, in a minute the fourth point which you shouldn't do when you want to grow your instagram is to have bad quality of your pictures and not having a harmonic feed so uh, what I do usually, I don't even use uh, filters. I, I only use uh, Instagram built-in filters you can use, like you can adapt the contrast, stuff like that. So it's, it's fine for me. I mean, if you, of course, there are a lot of accounts which give this more uh, professional touch. And if you want, you can also edit your photos in, in apps. You can also do this on your phone with uh, like Photoshop Express or Lightroom. So you can use some uh, filters there or some apply some schemes there if you want to keep one certain theme and talking about scheme i also recommend that you keep a consistent color scheme that means like a contrast ratio filter so i'm doing this uh, like i'm with my picture always looking similar to the ones of course when i post now different contents as well in between like reels which i talked about in a minute it's difficult to 
have a pure consistency but you can do this even if you do like two posts and you post a reel and then two posts again and one reel etc etc one post one reel one post one reel so you can define your feed basically and it's also important that it's as one type of color scheme or one type of yeah color basically yeah. and the fifth point with the things you should not do on instagram is not using new features so this is nowadays even more important with the uprising of tiktok with uprising of shorts on youtube and as you know uh, on reels reels is basically tiktok on instagram no, it's, it's nothing else i started to use reels and i posted a short reel i think it was a, actually a tiktok video and got over 180,000 views in a couple of days so this was actually a tiktok challenge but i posted it as well on instagram so i basically what you can also do if you on other platforms like tiktok you can also reuse content i, I wouldn't use reuse any content or every content because sometimes it doesn't fit because sometimes it's really only for uh, TikTok but then on the other hand you can also post this in the reels on Instagram so you can basically share your content you also do on TikTok so it's not going to reutilize your content so I think that's a good strategy as well and as I said uh, new features are basically more rewarded so because reels is a kind of a new feature uh, on Instagram I recommend it to use it so you can also gain more you, you, you get more reward to use them I think it's different because usually we posted it on the four to three square and now you can put to 16 to nine or 9 to 16 actually which i think is, is great so you can also put this short videos there which i think is more even better than what we had before when it only could this post in the feed and another thing is uh, try using a healthy mixture of the features instagram has to offer that means stories reels posts if you're doing longer videos of course you can post on youtube for example for your pet you can also post them there so you can also share your youtube videos basically there but what works well right now is i think stories reels posts where so two one story two story three story i think stories you can do a few and posts i think one to two i would keep it with one reel a day tiktok you should post more if you want to go there but on, on instagram i think one reel is fine if you put another content as well all right if you have any questions leave them in the comment section below and i hope you found this video helpful leave your thumbs up as well and you can also check out the description where i put some hopefully useful links for you 